Hello everyone, Duke here with part 4 of this Ottoman Empire campaign, Empire Total War Darth Mod. Uh, we are picking up where we left off of the Siege of Moldavia, uh, of Jassy, where our ragtag bunch of uh, misfits and line infantry and poorly trained line infantry must stand up to an overwhelming Austrian force. Now this is more of a do as much damage as you can, take as many of them as you can with you kind of situation really. We're not expecting to do anything amazing here, I'm not expecting any great victory, but we have an army on the way to counter-attack, so it would be nice to try and do some damage somewhere, be it attacking their, killing their general perhaps, or taking out a cannon. Uh, we've got quite a lot of men to play with, so let's see what we can do, um, see how well we do, and yeah, see how many of the Austrian swine we can take down with us before they inevitably win. Um, I suppose we could try and choose them and do a battle time limit. I used to do that as a kid, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to rise above that. But let's review the situation. We're going to have buildings, but we've got large unit sizes, which means I don't think all our units can fit in a building, and they have cannons. That be... Yeah, that's not going to be enough to house everyone. That's 477. 174. What's that? 477 again. Hmm. Ooh. That's quite cool. Yeah, we can have um, defences. Maybe we can put... Okay, only one unit gets defences. Okay, I'll put some Shivu D3 there. Put these guys there, these guys there. I'm just conscious of the fact that a cannon will, cannon will kill us uh, if we're in a building. So we want to avoid that, if possible. But how are we going to do that? We could try this building instead, actually. This might have a better chance of not getting blown up once the battle starts. Put the Chevy D3 there. I'd like to put the water in that building. And these guys... We'll kind of have to see. I'll put them here. And then we'll deploy. Hi. Right. Yeah, there's not an awful lot to do here. Let's go in the building. These guys... We can put over here and over here. Ah. Deployment in cities is a bit kooky with these. Um, uh, unit sizes. It's not good on the best of on the best of days, but okay. Maybe we can. If we're getting so, I wonder if we'll be able to like peek inside the building. No, we can't. Okay. So if you click insert like this, you can go down to ground level and sort of mill about with them. But okay, so that's saying we've got. Sorry, I'm distracted there by the messages. Um, but it doesn't look like when they go in a building you can do that, which is a shame. But you do. Okay, it looks like the cavalry is coming on. Let's pull back. Let's see what they're going to do. Yeah, if we can just sort of damage their units, they've sent like this cavalry unit. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like they're going to charge there, which is a shame. Unless we try and bait it, perhaps. If we've got a unit there, they will run into it, perhaps. Yeah. They're coming this way. Come on, you swine. Do it. <laughs> so we've got a detachment covering the road in from the uh, south. Right, I think they're wisely waiting for everybody to come on. It makes sense. The cannons over there firing, but... I don't think they can see us or hit us, so we don't have to worry about the cannon for now. That's good. If we had one, even one unit of Dinky Cavalry, I'd probably try and take the cannon out. But such luxuries are not available to us. Because so, these guys are really defensive, you know, their stats have got quite good. Well, their defense, their stat. Come on, dude. <laughs> Their defense stat is pretty good, which means I think they're best served in a building where they'll be able to make the most use of that. And, okay, I think they're coming on this way. So are they. Come on. I'm charging the 73. I just think that they'll be able to hold out best in there, because they're not going to be able to f kill a lot of men with their guns. They're just not tra trained enough. They'll get overwhelmed out in the field. But if we can... Yeah, come on. Do it. Oh, yes, come on. Oh, they're smashing windows. So they're gonna fire out of there in a minute. Come on. Yes! 
splat. One, two, three, but those are good. <laughs> so we've got a little bit around it, but not too much. Uh, let's put a guard mode on so they don't run off. Okay, we're going to run away any second now, but if we can do some damage on their ship, we'll yeah, we're off. So that's alright, what can you do? But as we can kill some of their cavalry with. Should be free, that'll be great. Yeah. These guys will not last long. They're, they can only take about 10 or 20 kills before they run away. Um, that's the Ottoman army at this point in the game. Come on, do it. Charge in. Do it. You know you want to. Ah, fine. He scouted it out and he's decided against it. Maybe this unit will come back, who knows. But I'm keeping these guys back so they can engage in melee any unit that tries to storm the building. I put, I put that unit there, the one we just lost, to try and bait an attack through the Chevy D3. It kind of worked. It wasn't as devastating as I'd hoped, but no, but I'm sure what to do now. At least shattered. No, so they might come back. Whoa. Ouch. Okay, they're coming through. Come on. Yes. <laughs> that is how you find cavalry. Off they go. Okay, so this building is getting barraged, but it's not... We've taken a lot of casualties from the cannon fire, maybe we should pull back. I'd hope to hold it out, but their cannon's a bit strong. It's got good range. Where's that? Oh, the other units made it to the edge of the map, they're safe. They're gone. That's a shame. What can you do? Okay, let's send their militia around the side there. I might actually try and take that military unit head on with our guys. We run out the building. Because this unit in this building, unfortunately, it's just going to barrage. But it did bait them into an attack with their cavalry on the um, spikes. So at least we've damaged their cavalry unit quite a bit. Yeah, let's get out of here before the cannons do that on us. This guy can just hold out for as long as he can in there. <laughs> Look how big our units are. We're still emptying from that building. Yeah, I want. Okay. I'll tell you what we'll do. Gosh, we do take a while to come out of this building. Don't we? Yeah. I wonder how many more men there are. All right, let's charge into this pipe. No, let's not. Let's see if we can bait them into attacking this building here, wasting their time. Have we got bayonets? No. So we can put our bayonets on. There we go. Now try it. That should do it. Have we got the bayonets on? Yes. Nice. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think we can target their men. Into a build. Oh yes we can, looks like we're moving in now. Oh. Good. Oh, whiffling. Okay, that's fine. What can you do? Um, let's try and take out some of that pipe. What's that? Building loss. Oh, must be this one. Yes. Are the water going to come up? Or have they made it off the edge? Nah, they're, they're broken completely. Yeah, we got, these men can't take many losses. I think uh, once you hit about 10% casualties in a unit, I think your unit starts to wave and flee. I think we did this quite well, though. I think we managed to bait the cavalry army into that attack there. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get the general. That would have been good. Uh, but there was not much we could do. Yep, the auto are gone. That's fine. 
Let's just fast forward and see what happens. Kill as many of these pikes as we can. This unit is holding up quite well. It's doing better than the other one. Maybe the uh, presence of the general is inspiring them to press. Okay, we're off now. Now it's just down to the uh, general. <laughs> oh, he's not. <laughs> Doesn't fancy it. Go okay, map to Sally Forth just to get this battle line done with. Because um, they're not going to storm the building, it seems. But we don't want to be stuck in an eternal wait. They're going to storm the building? Doesn't look like it. I think they're waiting for us to sally out. That's fine. Okay, we'll sally out in a sec. Oh, no, we're off anyway. Never mind. Close to feet. Yeah, that's fine. Right, so. Yes. We've got, we've got most of their cavalry dead, which is good. And we're on the way with our real army. So we took out... What's that? 225 out of... That's about a sixth of their army dead. Where are they off to? Alright, so... Still no war with, war with Poland and Lithuania, that's good. How should I try out this time? Oh, we can intercept. That's probably too dangerous though. Malay attack. I don't know. That's a dangerous army. But it would help us take them out. Um, it would help us to take them out. Um, in piecemeal, rather than in, as part of a big army, I suppose. But that's, that's really tough. Malay attack 12 to our 8 and 10. Yeah. Militia are much tougher in this part of the world. Militia are actually good units in the desert. We do have cannons. Uh, oh, why not? We do have reinforcements on the way. Hopefully our men don't flee as quickly as they did in the last battle, but what can you do? Our men are not elite at the moment, they're not well trained. Let's put them in there, and we'll put some bashing bazooks in the woods. I'll put like the general there so they could try and try and bait them into them. And yeah, this is a I can't wait to get some canister shot. Um, unfortunately no one starts with it in Empire. You have to research it. So let's do some try and do some damage by Splat. Yeah, I did a bit of damage. Uh, steady, but they're concerned being on the way to do Oh man, if we had some canister, the devastation we could do would be disgusting. But what can you do? Right, let's see if we can get one more volley. Yeah. 50 men dead so far. We are researching canister at the moment, so it will happen soon. Alright, I should have charged these guys now. So they're just going to charge the cannons up there. In fact, we better save the cannons. Let's charge in. Let's put the bayonets on, because I don't think guns are going to be much used in this battle. Let's get the general around the side. And charge in. Wow, that was a great volley. Killed 50 men. One militia unit. Very impressive. Let's just charge in and see what happens. Let's get the general around the side. We could even try chasing down that unit. To stop it from coming back. Persian units seem to be quite tough. You're on the old cold steel. You're on the old cold steel, sir. They don't knock it up, and you know, sir. Unfortunately, this will mean horrendous casualties for us. The attacker in a melee charge always loses more men than the defender, I find, but 
it's the best way to get a good morale hit on them. So. Yeah, let's chase this unit down so it doesn't come back. And just hope that our men can win this. Yeah, we're half strength from that unit. Melee is extremely costly to do, um, but if you are outgunned, it's the way to do it. See if we can kill some more of that unit. Continue. Let's see if we can chase that unit down as well. That's the general game He's not doing too bad. They've wisely spread this fleeing unit out so that we can. It takes us longer to chase them. Let's just keep chasing them as we can. At least the general's going to get some experience with this. And this unit. I think a few more kills should see this one permanently dead on the campaign. Yeah, I think that should do it for that one. <laughs> I'm going to be knackered chasing them. Right, yeah, let's keep chasing these guys. Then. The pathfinding, yeah, the, the routing in this game I don't find quite as satisfying as in earlier games. It takes a lot longer. Okay, I'm on. Yeah, you sometimes have to re-give the orders to make them uh, target the unit you want them to get. Okay, I think they're going to make it now. Okay. Let's take this one. Okay, close victory. Yeah, that was very close. That's why I was doing an R in. I knew those guys would be... Because they've got a very high melee attack. So, they were better than our melee units. But we won. Oh, it's dead. Oh, perfect. Oh, they pulled back. Oh, they moved... Well, this is an unexpected development. That might even mean we get some extra units in Mesopotamia. Because we were recruiting something and they've let it go. Oh, that's really good. That, that's a miracle, but I'm going to take it. The Persians are so stumped by our taking of Azerbaijan, they're a bit thrown. That wasn't part of their plan. I don't plan on taking loads of territory early in the game. I don't think that's the kind of strategy we should be going for as the Ottomans at this point. We're, we're too insecure at home to think about expanding, but... Ah, oh, thank you, Crimea. Taking out the Austrian... I should... Austrian Navy, so that should mean we have a bit more money coming in. Okay, I think we've made it safe through a turn. We're only at the Barbie States and the Pirates now, which don't affect us. I wish they try and blockade or attack some more of the uh, European ports, but maybe in time. Whoa, look at the size of that French Navy. Okay, I don't care about these raids right now. Yeah, it's, that's not even making me any money, so whatever. Um, what's this? Cavalry unit? That's a militia unit. Okay. I think, yeah, we'll just put this army in there. It's best used in there, because with a bit of a garrison, it should be able to hold out against those units. That's a good army there. An organ gun on the way. Got a nasty looking Austrian army coming in. It'd be nice to be able to sue for peace, but in the meantime, we might have to move this army out of Klausenberg uh, in order to take out these armies that are moving in. It's just that we don't have guns to storm the fort with, so we'd have to climb up and repel, which would be extremely dangerous. Oh, West Valley's dead. Who got him? Who got him? Ooh, United you know, Provinces took them out. Scary. Enemy raid. Yep, farmland. Yeah, there's going to be raids all over the gap front, but that's part of the map. Not much we can do. Ooh, we've got a spy here. That's really handy. Okay, we, we can bet more or less guess what they've got there, so we don't need to worry about that. Let's send the spy sort of this way. Wow, they've got really good units. Persia starts off very strong. Okay, so we've got an extra line infantry unit, which is great. Uh, a little longer, we'll get an organ gun. And then 
Should we try for another unit somewhere? It wouldn't hurt to go for just another Is Isabella's unit. Are we researching canister? Yeah, two turns away. This army will desperately need replenishing, no doubt about that. No replenish required. Oh, I beg to differ, but yeah, recoup. Oh, that recoup's 98. Yeah. I'm hoping, because what I want to do is replenish on top of what they're already doing, but never mind. Okay, let's get a cavalry unit then, in the absence of anything else. Might be wise. One of these should probably be a military one, but I don't know which. Which one's wealthier on paper? That one. So I should likely... This has mine, is it? But yeah, let's keep getting these guys up in the meantime. Let's keep getting them up. We could even abandon that, that region and move this up toward there to get reinforced. And then return once we're a bit stronger. And in the meantime, turn that into... Yeah, I think we should turn this one. It's less wealthy on paper, and if we lose Azerbaijan, we still have this to reinforce with, so I think that makes the most sense. And we'll get cannons there. Yeah, that's good. Um, oh, that reminds me, I think Istanbul... Yeah, we need to actually start rebuilding Istanbul. So, let's do that. Let's just get some buildings in there. And this army... We're going to march toward Yassi. Or Jassi. And we're going to take out that army with any map. Chuck it and take it out. Hopefully. France and the Marathas are no longer allies. Yeah, we lost Jassi. Got some new buildings. Good. Palestine's building up nicely. Uh, I'm not going to spend just yet. I want to be absolutely sure where we're going to spend our next round of money. We've got a new navy, haven't we? Yeah, I'm sure we... Yeah, there it is, the Mediterranean. We've built a new navy. And the Austrian navy there is dead. So let's send this navy to hopefully try and take out the brig. And that should free up even more money for us. I do like the Ottoman ship model on the map. It's very cool. Right. Let's free up some money. <laughs> I like that little effect. Okay. Alright, if you win this, I'll make you an admiral. This is the meritocracy. Dang it. <laughs> so, don't give up the ship. Words of advice for this battle, I think. Alright, we've got something of a weather gauge we can use, so let's turn to use it. What's this ship called? The Al Iskandia. Alice Andrea. And it's steady. Okay. Well, let's make use of the wind and sail into it. Oh, the ship models in this game are just a thing of beauty, aren't they? Let's get going. Firepower 982. Hull strength 3100. It's all quite high on this bar. It makes me think. It should be okay taking on a brig, which is about half the guns we have. We've got good range as well. So the bigger ships have bigger guns, and the bigger guns have bigger range, so you'll be able to hit them from further away than they can you, in theory. The Gazelle. Right, should we perhaps furl a little bit of sail so that they can come onto us? But we'd keep the weather gauge. Yeah, hopefully it won't be too long until they're in range. Once they enter this cone, we should start firing automatically. Smash. Oh, that did a bit of damage on their, name, on their mast. Look at that. Right, it's back up. <laughs> okay, straightening out again. Another one of those, please. Oh, run out the guns. Bash. Right, let's turn around a bit. Fire. 
friendly numbers nearby. Must have some, some imaginary ghost ship in tow. Okay. It says it's firing, but it's not. But I'm not complaining. So we're going to get two volleys on them so far, two broadsides with no return fire. We haven't done much damage, but we have to help them their sails up a bit. I see exactly what they're trying to do, they're trying to get onto our aft. Bash. Probably inaccurate fire. Good. <laughs> sails going a bit cool. We're going to have to turn around soon. We're going to lose the weather, by the way. Lose the wind. We can turn around quickly enough. facing all this way, so let's Because now we're going to hit their stone. Bash, 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 bash. Nice. Actual bit of damage on that. I think that green bar went down. I, I, I lose, I think white on top is morale. I can't tell the difference between the greens. Like the green is crew and one if one is crew and one is health or one is um oh, well, yeah, I don't know, that's just my educated guess that rushing. They tell you this in tutorial, but uh <laughs> waste my time back nonsense. <laughs> Never mind the tutorial, let's just go straight out. Let's try it the canister. Missed it. 
Yeah, we do. I've got nothing I could have done. That's good. Okay, that's fine. Let's put some sail on as well. Let's just start sailing. Really, the guns are really powerful. Let me start sinking to that as well. Possibly hope to match my superior firepower. Hopefully, exploding this time will make us. Yeah, this will make us. Use this side with me now. We're far too bit ahead, so let's head into the water. There we go. Get some damage. Turn up too. If we can get them to strike their colours, we'll get the ship, we can get some prize money, or even add it onto our fleet. Either one. See why this has been blockaded, single handedly blockading our port. It's quite a wily, cunning little uh, captain who's commanding this.
cardboard side presented. close to that. But then again, I don't think our Navy is very good at the moment. I think our Navy technology is non-existent, so smaller ships will be able to run rings around us. Uh, we know that is as a brig, and it only gives us 437. I will have that. I will have that. Down it goes. <laughs> to the depths. Let's move you into here. And I did, I did say I'd make him an admiral. So you cannot promote an admiral at this time. Okay, fine. Um, but I will fix it. I'll fix this ship too. And we will. Hmm. It's tempting not to actually build up too much of a navy, just because it's it's so bad <laughs> that. I don't count on it. Like, more ships really helping us. Uh, right, where do we invest a little bit of money now? That's the question. Try and build up another military barracks, but we can't yet. But we are recruiting, so that's good. Um, let's get another unit in here for can. Bashi bazooks is better than nothing. Oh, it's my spy. He didn't have a logo on him, so I didn't see. I didn't see. Uh, nah, it's not risky. It'd be good to actually own these regions, but uh, I'm not going to build the roads because it slows these guys down getting to us. These are quite good units, but I, I think we could do some cavalry actually. Um, hopefully, we'll have another turn of them not trying to attack. Alright, so, okay, we've got a little bit of money with which to play around with. We could save it so that we can have something to... Oh, my, nice. Wow, what, what can we uh, recruit here? Irregulars. I can't actually recruit much here, but it's quite cool looking, this building. I think we need technology. I think ones with red around them need technology of some kind. So we're not going to get any good stuff just yet, but... So I'm not going to spend the money up with that building because it doesn't. We can't immediately reap the benefits. We might have to. I'm wondering if there's a way to get the organ gun to join us in battle by moving around the side. Find them. Tentatively try it. We can sort of move that way. March. And then with this one. Yes, perfect. Yeah, cool. We can demand a surrender if they're in a fort like this. It would be good. Push up my good. Yeah, because I don't really want to fight. Them that would be Marsh. painful. And then we join our Marsh. And then we're ready to hit those armies. This is probably going to rebel soon. That's fine. Let's exempt them from tax, and that will make them calm. And yeah, so soon we'll be able to march on with this army, which is still replenishing. It could do with another unit of cavalry as well, I think, but we can't. Easier said than done. 
There's nowhere really to get her. Can we around here? Minus one turn. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's nowhere to get cavalry at the moment. Okay. We've got 1,600 to play with. Where can we afford newer buildings that are helpful? Yeah, I suppose it would help to have these up in case we have to fall back to these cities here. I'd like to hang on to Mesopotamia, but it looks like it's going to be quite tricky to do. I think with another couple of turns of recruitment, especially with an organ gun, I feel like this place will be a lot more secure. Can we, how much does the general cost? Yeah, it would probably be good to get a general in there. Because Mesopotamia can slowly build itself up as an army to move on Persia if we want. I feel like having an organ gun and then subsequently some canister shot will make us very dangerous. So if we can take Persia, I'm just seeing a bunch of admin buildings here. So that would really knock out their capacity to fight. The only thing we have to do in the meantime is fight off the armies that do exist. And then we can try and deliver a crippling blow. And taking Persia as well would mean that we own quite a big swathe of land there. I wonder how rich that region is. It must be rich because they're being able to afford quite a lot of good stuff. 10,000 this turn, that's good. Keep this going for now. So that's that. Well, actually, it's a blow. Um, Four hundred forty-eight. We're missing out on. We're making money enough as it is. It's fine. I do want to try and encourage growth across the empire. We, don't, we want to keep this government 97% popularity, excellent so they stand a good chance of winning the election um, we could hold there's no point right now because we're near the maximum term we can hold these elections there's no any catch if the current cabinet isn't popular with the public they may be replaced with the opposition this can be useful if your current cabinet is performing badly oh, hold it okay. so we're doing quite well if we were doing quite say there was an election tomorrow then I would hold an election right now just to be sure. But we have to be careful. Okay. What is going on on the diplomacy front? I wonder if Denmark wants to trade yet. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with that because I'm, I'm not going to fight the Danes, so they can have plug bayonets in school. Yeah, works for me. And United Province. Oh, they like us. I think because we're a republic as well. We're kindred spirits, but we can't trade with them for some reason. Not sure why. Maybe it's maybe we're out of trading rights. Okay, fine. At least we're trading with someone. That's given us quite a bit of money. And there's them up there. In all this glory. Wealthy little city. Okay. Whew, things are still desperate, but we've. We've got an army marching there to cover that army, which is have to win. And this army is covering here. So it's a little stable than it was last turn. A little more stable than it was last turn. And you know what? I think I actually might build some boats here because it might it will allow faster movement between these two regions. Should we need to get reinforcements in? Which we will. We're gonna get these guys up. So. And I would like to get a general in here. In fact, we might be able to do that now. How much does it cost? Alright, then keep your secrets. Uh, perhaps there's a build. Yeah, let's give it that. Let's see if that allows. Yes, that does. Talent. Talent to the judge. So you go and come on there. And that would give more of an inspiring presence to match theirs. Okay, I think we'll 
in the town and we'll see what happens. This front's a little more secure, but this army, if this army goes down somehow in the end, we are in a much better position because I feel like we might have a good shot at containing this front too. We can't really advance to this army because it has to keep an eye on Georgia, which has tried to attack us before. But if we can build this army up and take out Estefan, Esfahan, that would be a crippling blow to them. And we've got an army here to do it. Okay, there's not much more to do. We're researching Canister, which is what I want right now. I desperately need it. And we'll just have to deal with other stuff that happens. I wonder what the other theatres look like. No change there yet, but the marathons will soon probably steamroll. And this is much the same as well. Okay. Let's see what happens. Kenny Britain's on Barbary State duty. Basically, doing what the Ottomans normally do and moving a lot of uh, single units around. Okay, they're moving in to try and take Bosnia. Okay, we can't win this either because they've got two cannons, but we can try and again to give them a bloody nose before they take it. And then, yeah, we're, we're never gonna. I think we're gonna be fighting, losing a lot of ground to the Austrians, but we have to fight as hard as we can. I'll probably do this in the next episode, guys. I think what I'll probably do is start off the next episode with the Battle for Bosnia and fight as hard as we can to try and take as many of them with us before we get our army to reinforce. So, plenty to do. The war is getting pretty desperate on all sides uh, with some hope of containing it, but we have to accept that we're going to lose a lot of ground in the meantime. But as long as we can stay afloat, we have a fighting chance of <laughs> staying alive. So, don't miss any of it, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.